to do the public testimony tour, gathering hundreds upon hundreds of public testimonies. We hope to get a 1,000. All of those will be on the website. And you can soar through them, look at them, watch them. We ask everyone to share those. So I want everyone to, you know, to cheer and to just go, just really give them all the love you can and the alohas and you. All right, so we got Joe Ritter who's going to get up and he's going to start it. So let's hear it for Joe. Woo! Joe! It truly is my privilege to stand before you and speak as a private citizen to defend the future of Maui. Some of you know me, some of you don't. Uh, my doctorate's in astrophysics, but I've been an interdisciplinary science scientist in a half a dozen fields since I was 11. I've worked in the fields of teratology, which is uh, birth defects research from the Greek teras, meaning monster. Uh, I've worked in genetics. I'm not anti-biotech. I'm not anti-GMO. I flew a genetics payload on the space shuttle uh, on STS-91. I grew up on a farm. I learned to work on a farm. I'm 100% in support of local Maui resident farmers and their rights. Maui is my home. Although you may know me from my NASA think tank work or as a university astrophysicist, or an expert in light and pollution uh, serving for the county as a chair of a county board. Uh, I actually began my scientific career co-authoring several peer-reviewed publications in the field of teratology, looking at birth defects. Years ago, I also had a faculty appointment at the College of Agriculture in Hilo. Uh, I'm a far better physicist than agronomist or biochemist, uh, but I have some small knowledge in the fields that concern us tonight, the fields of Maui. On the transgenic GMO research fields of Maui and Hawaii, we see widespread application of cocktail herbicides and pesticides with as many as 80 components, where claims of safety for research studies are often based on tests of only a single ingredient, not the combination cocktail applied to crops, and through runoff and drift, and through eating, applied to us. 30 years ago, I developed a novel artificial intelligence program for mining data from decades of birth defects research studies. So at the age of 19, I was a keynote speaker at uh, the 61st meeting of the Mid-Atlantic Reproduction and Teratology Society. That was so long ago, I, can, I have to read this. So in, in front of over 700 experts in the field of birth defects, I was asked to be the keynote speaker. So I know a little bit about what we're concerned about tonight. Our team's peer-reviewed published research addressed these chemical cocktail combinations. We used Wistar rats as a test model for human reproductive systems. We found significantly increased damaging effects from administering multiple chemicals at the same time. Often, a single chemical is considered safe, it would cause low or no harm statistically. But if multiple safe chemicals were given together, we would see upwards to 50 to 100% of young being mal born malformed or not being born at all, being dead. Toxicity can be multiplied by over a factor of 1,000 by simple combinations of chemicals. This is not speculation. This is peer-reviewed science. This has been known for over 30 years. This is not news, but apparently it's news for us on Maui. So these devastating effects, these were tremendously helpful for our understanding of biochemical pathways for birth defects. This was really fantastic for the research, and of course devastating for the animals that all died. 30 years of science clearly shows the chemicals administered together have a multiplicatively bad effect on embryos. This dangerous and potentiative thousand-fold increase effect of herbicide and pesticide chemical cocktails is what terrifies me, and that's why I'm standing up here tonight speaking out. You heard these foods and chemical practices are safe. We, we are, I talked to somebody the other day. They were smart, and they said, oh, well, I heard it was safe. I reject that. 
It is undeniable that combined doses can have significantly increased health effects that tests using single components simply cannot reveal. And we know this from 30 years of peer-reviewed research in the field. And none of the food we'll hear about tonight has been tested on humans. No human testing. None of these chemical cocktails with not one or two or three, but 70 or 80 combinations, not one of them has been tested on humans. Not one. Why? I don't, I don't know. Uh, the, the EPA and the FDA do not require it. I think that is a crime against humanity. <laughs> Safety claims based on zero human tests and tests of only single chemicals are not valid or convincing to those who understand the fundamental science. Don't let anybody tell you anything different. I do not work for Monsanto, and fortunately, my job as a scientist is not contingent on whether or not I believe in Big Ag's poisonous practices. I urge you to make proof of safety a part of our law in Maui. Good science, good science, real science, tells us the combined restricted pesticide use for transgenic test crops here on Maui is potentially devastating. Do not, please do not, let the corporation propaganda sway you. We must be good stewards of our land. Your health, as well as mine, is at stake. I'm a citizen, and I'm a scientist, and I know what I'm talking about. I support this noble initiative to defend the people of Maui from toxic corporate abuse. The state constitution is clear in directing our public officials, none of which are here tonight, to preserve our health and natural resources. And if they won't, then we must both elect new officials and act ourselves. <laughs> Plato said the price of apathy towards public affairs is to be ruled by evil men. I will not sit back. And if they won't, then we must elect new officials so that they will act. The primary election is on August 9th. It is our Ohana's opportunity to stand up, and then the election in November is our opportunity to protect ourselves. If we all work together, we can steer this canoe in a fresh direction where a vision for the future, not for profit, guides us forward. In 73 days, on August 9th, Maui will put the corporations and lobbyists on notice that Maui is not for sale. <laughs> then in November, thanks to your hard work and to the work of my friends that I proudly stand with, for the hard work of all of the volunteers from the Shaka movement and the nearly 20,000 citizens who have signed on, just so, that many so far, we will all stand up in November, and we will stand up for future generations of mankind and say, prove it is safe. Thank you. Okay.